conquering every state. Alpha, the day we've waited for, ever since our home planet was labeled an interstellar toxic waste dump, we've been searching for a new place to live. Yes, Gamma, we were lucky to stumble upon the Earth and this little land called the United States. Have our scouts toured all sections of the country? Yes, sir. Today we beam them back to the ship to find out where's the best place to settle. Where's Lieutenant Delta? He was due back nanoseconds ago. Lieutenant Delta, where are you? Lieutenant Delta, back from Earth, as requested, Captain. What on Earth are you wearing? I'm disguised as a bullfighter, sir. A bullfighter? I told you to dress as a firefighter! <laughs> you did? Yes, they don't have bullfighters in the United States. Does this mean I can't keep the cape? I really like the cape. Lieutenant, where's our first scouting party? Here they are, sir, just back from the southwestern section of the country. <laughs> Official report, states and capitals. Phoenix, Arizona. Santa Fe, New Mexico. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Austin, Texas. What happened to you? You look terrible. You won't believe, you won't believe how big everything's out there. Sir. Huge, huge, huge surge, ginormous. For example, the big river, the Colorado, it runs through the biggest king you ever saw. Grand Canyon, sir. We underestimated it a bit.
Our next party is ready to report, Captain. Bring them in. New England, come down. Augusta, Maine. Montpierre, Vermont. Concord, New Hampshire. Boston, Massachusetts. Hartford, Connecticut. Providence, Rhode Island. Where is this New England place? from our operative in the Heartland States. Why isn't he here? He's trapped in South Dakota, sir. Discovered by earthlings? No, sir, he was climbing Mount Rushmore and got his foot caught in Teddy Roosevelt's mustache. <laughs> You're kidding. Negative, Captain. We sent a rescue team, but they seem to have gotten lost in Lincoln's nose. His nose? It's a really big nose, sir. But what about the report? We need to learn about the Heartland States. It's taken care of, sir. Our scout, in the, our scout sent a replay of his favorite game show. An earthly game show? What does that have to do with his report? Apparently he was a contestant, sir. A contestant? He'll give himself away for sure. I love 
show game shows. Put it in the machine, put it in the machine. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Name That State Capital. Let's meet tonight's contestants. Contestant number one is Stephanie Nathan. Stephanie is an account whose hobbies include needlepoint and sitting on her cat. Hi, everybody. Contestant number two is Michael Stefaner a computer programmer who enjoys miniature golf and eating cereal until he explodes. It's great to be on the show. <laughs> and contestant number three is um, Omega 239. That's an unusual name, Omega. It says here you collect intergalactical glit frogs. That's right, but only the edible ones. Okay, contestants, are you ready to play Name That State Capital? Yes! Great, today's category is the states of the heartland, and here's your first toss-up. What is the capital of North Dakota? <coughs> yes, Omega? Millions of Nibor? Um, sorry, that's wrong. Stephanie? <coughs> Bismarck. Bismarck. That's right, Bismarck, North Dakota. And here's your bonus question. What is the capital of Minnesota? St. Paul? That's absolutely right, St. Paul, Minnesota. That's 15 points. And now here's your next toss up. What is the capital of Nebraska? Um, yes, Omega? The Rings of Ziborg? <laughs> no, no, I'm not sure you understand the category. This is state capitals of the heartland and the Great, Pl the Great Plains, you know, rolling prairies, corn, wheat, cattle, you see? Lincoln, Nebraska. Yes, that's correct. And here's your bonus question. What is the capital of Iowa? The Twin Sons of the Twin Sons of Xanthrax! <laughs> Omega, it's not your turn. Michael, do you have an answer? Des Moines. Des Moines, Iowa. Perfect. That's 15 points now for, your to for the toss up. And remember, we're looking for state capitals in the heartland and dairy products, the great Missouri and Mississippi rivers. You ready? Okay, what is the capital of Kansas? Anyone, anyone at all? Anyone like to give it a try? I think Omega here got in the first buzzer. Really, I must have missed that. Okay, Mr. Omega, what is the capital of Kansas? The state of geographical center of the U.S. on Earth. The Red Door for Chameleon 5. <laughs> no, 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 it's Topeka, Topeka, Kansas. Not the Red Door of Chameleon 5. And it's not the black hole of Missouri or the white giant of South Dakota either. Actually, it's Jefferson, Jefferson City, Missouri. And Pierre, South Dakota. And thank goodness that's all the time we have for today. Did I win? Thanks for watching. <laughs> Do I get the car? <laughs> And see you next time on Name That State Capital. That was so cool. Cool? Why does he 
you just wear a sign as a spec? I'm an alien from outer space. Kick me! <laughs> Our scouts from the Pacific Coast are ready to report, Captain. Bring them in, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Dudes, dudes, report for duty. Dudes, you call them dudes? They're deep under his cover, sir. Everyone out there is a dude. Dudes, report. Sacramento, California. Salem, Oregon. Olympia, Washington. How's about the West Coast? Is it suitable for settlement? It's way excellent. A huge variety of landscapes and water patterns. Something for everyone, but there's one thing that links it all together. I looked it up. Five foot bees with arms and legs? I'm a killer bee from South America. He does look a bit like a bee, Captain. He doesn't look any, she doesn't look anything like a bee. You look ridiculous, Lieutenant. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I 
I tell you, it's just not fair. I know, have they no feelings? Hey, there they are. Who are you? We are the scouts from the Mid-Atlantic States. Look out, it's a giant killer piece of, from South America. <laughs> Stop that, it's just Lieutenant Delta. It is? Really in disguise, Lieutenant. Why did you call us back to the ship? It's time for your reports. But I don't want to leave. Me neither. Why not? Because we're in love. Love the two of you with each other? Oh no, not with each other. Yuck. Then who are you in love with? Well, at the state capitol, of course. There's a nap for this It's a great to wear You sea dogs, square the yard and unfurl those all big canvas things. Aye, aye, aye skipper. skipper. And do something with that er big rope like thing, boys. I don't spy our commander anywhere. Supposed to give our reports on the Great Lakes state. Um, 
Maybe we should have gotten off the boat, Skipper. Off the ship? Nonsense! But what are we going to report? The states and capitals, sounds of your barnacle backs. Aye, aye, Skipper. I mean... Aye, 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 aye Skipper! <laughs> Madison, Wisconsin. Lansing, Michigan. Columbus, Ohio. Springfield, Illinois. Indianapolis, Indiana. Good work, you windjammers. But what if the captain asks about, well, you know, something inland? Yeah, we never saw any of it. Hmm, you got a point. Time to weigh the anchor, boys! But we, but we weighed it yesterday. And the day before that, it always weighs the same. <laughs> well, weigh it again. It might be heavier today. Gotta to wash them every minute. Come on, back to the ship. Montana, Boise, Idaho, Cheyenne, Wyoming, 
Carson City, Nevada. Salt Lake City, Utah. Denver, Colorado. You on my side of the continental divide? Am not. All two. Am not. Can't you two just get along? The Rockies and Great and Great, and Great Basin cover a fifth of the country. And aliens ought to have room to bleed. And there's a whole lot more out there than just mountains. The man is here. <laughs> Tapalamba moves, moves the muse with the news. He wrapped the map from the Cumberland Gap. He tuned the tune of Daniel Boone. The Appalachians are a strain. And chain, mount, and chain mountain chain from Alabama to Maine. And moves the fuse who got who Noah Shandon Noah. I got your report on first grade Sucky Richmond, Virginia gets any old win in Nashville, Tennessee. You see, I don't think you do. Charleston West, the best Virginia. This is fine of their minor. There's no folly of a ball. I stand tall in Raleigh, North Carolina. What did he say? I didn't understand a word. <laughs> I gotta get me, you know. Southeastern, southeastern states. I know. So where is everybody? I don't know. Did you do your job? I haven't seen you in weeks. I was doing a deaf research on golf courses. I've noticed that many earthlings move to the southeast near golf courses. What's a golf course?
It's a green field with trees and sand and water where humans dress in bright colors and beat a little ball with sticks. <laughs> How strange. Did you learn the state capitals? Of course. Let's practice. Captain Alpha is a stickler for details. Little Rock, Arkansas. Baton Rouge. Louisiana. Louisiana. Jackson, Mississippi. Montgomery, Alabama. Atlanta, Georgia. Columbia, South Carolina. Tallahassee, Florida. So what about you? Did you scope out states for possible settlement? Not exactly. What do you mean? Well, I was too busy eating. Eating? Didn't you ever pay attention to land itself? Are you kidding? With all that good food, who had time to look at the landscape? Scouts arriving now. You're our best agents, Captain. Oh, here they come. And so I'm like, whatever. <laughs> I'm so sure. Hello, Lud, what was he tending? These are our best agents? Like, for sure. There's 
They're here to report on the remaining states and positions. There's more? Like, duh, you've only heard about the 48 continuous states? <laughs> that it clue you've missed, you've missed like the most totally awesome places of all. After offers something for everyone. Lieutenant Delta prepared the transporter to beam us down. Affirmative, Captain. What's the destination? Some place at the golf course. Thank <laughs> you. 
thank you all for coming. The second graders have worked so hard and they've learned so much about the United States. It's been really fun working with them. And they actually made the map behind them that's divided up into 10 regions and students put different landforms, bodies of waters, and landmarks that they learned about. So when you get a chance, you're welcome to come up and look at the map. It's really detailed and really fun with um, all the details they put into it. So let's give them another round of applause. Kids, stay there for just a second. You'll take pictures in a moment. But I want to give my tip my hat off to these guys. Did you notice how much they had to manage at one time? Props and clothes on and off and moving back and forth and finding the script. You kids put on a great show. Thank you. Wow. Now, I've done these before myself when I was teaching. And one thing I would always tell my students who are acting or performing, I would say, you know what? The goal is to make sure the audience is happy they came to see you. Audience, are you happy you came out? There you go. Nice. Well, thank you, everybody. And one big, gigantic round from everybody in the room to your director and teacher. Sarah.